Hello, Internet. It's I, the Roshi, and I'm back with some more Genshin Impact gameplay. Today, I am focusing on Klee and Jean's story quests. We're in for a very wholesome time. Yes, it's going to be fun. However, there are going to be a few things here or there that I'll have to pick apart and talk about, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. Overall, this is an enjoyable experience, and I'm happy to share it with you. Without further ado, let's get into it. True treasure. Who is Mondstadt's strongest fighter? All right. Klee, listen, your mom's whack. And it seems pretty mixed how people love her or they hate her. And you know what? I get it. One day she'll probably be in the game and everyone's going to lose their minds. But until then... It's not looking too great. The majority of the people who watch my stuff know how I feel about Alice. Interesting character, fascinating character. Would really want to learn and see more of her, which I will, I'm sure, but not a great mom, in my opinion. Just because I say she's a bad mom doesn't mean she's a bad character. I want that to be clear. She's an awesome sounding character because characters are supposed to have flaws. That's all I gotta say about that, just to remind you, and to keep you on your toes. No one is safe. I'm looking forward to meeting the little terrorist, so here we go. <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Yeah, would ya? Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in! Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? There we go. The strongest fighter? Hmm. <gasps> Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch. Uh, it must be far more to it than that. Wow. Then it really must be tough to become the strongest of all. But anyway, is there like the general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city of freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. It doesn't? Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest. That's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight. The other is the Dark Knight Hero. Hmm. Anyone vote for me? Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you. Yes. But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Okay. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. I guess I'll just get back to work. That's the spirit. Chapter 1. Ask the tavern patrons about the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. You say Charles? Who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Strongest fighter? I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Huh. Tenders had some kind of special information sources. Just like they have an exclusive supplier of wine. Exactly. That's what Paimon was getting at. Okay. <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. Sure you don't. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. Of course you'd say that. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. He's done that quite a few times. There it is! The barman's top secret intelligence! We already knew that. Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? That's referring to, uh, Donna, right? Oh, uh, Six-Fingered Jose? What do you have to say? Hey, amigo. Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Uh, who's the strongest fighter, Monstat? Uh, the most macho in Monstat. She's a little girly who wears red. Oh, a girl dressed in red? That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago. 
when I went up to the Storm Bear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? What happened? What happened? I witnessed Fuck. the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Yeah. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. <sighs> but I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Did you Bombs. see a treasure? God damn it. Did Paimon imagine that or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean, no. It's a bard's razor sharp intuition. I'll take you at your word for now. Thank you, amigo. Ah, I am so happy to meet a true amigo. Who would have thought? Oh, all right. So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I... I do not know her name. I, I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, uh, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Okay. Hmm, doesn't sound like much to go on. Hmm. But thanks for your intel. All right, well, that was, that was the, that was the info right there. Well, let's see what everyone else has to say. Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? Um, who's the you strongest fighter? You who I think the toughest fighter is? Yes. In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. Stanley, you say? Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Mm. What? There's the beasts of the Marjavari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? I'd beat it to a pulp. Yeah! Bam! Wham! Pow! That's right. Alright, and you, Bruce. Hi! <laughs> Are you here to try Monstead's famous wine, too? Oh, Bruce, you're drunk. Who's the strongest fighter? Uh, the strongest fighter of them all? Yep, that's what I asked. That would be Gene, obviously. <laughs> all right. Tell me why. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Grandmaster Gene is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. It's pretty impressive. And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her self. And that's why I did it. And they did it. Gotcha. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. It's true. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Yep. Okay. Patton was right about one thing. Um, everyone has an opinion. If everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever gonna find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? We investigate. Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. Alright. The knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Do you think I'll be on there? Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. True. Don't worry though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. Thanks, Paimon. All right. Time to go visit Jean. Oh, Master Jean. Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. That's right. Do you have uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. It is a pretty subjective issue. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Paimon was hoping he would at 
least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Thank you, Jean. Which reminds me. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. Mm. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Okay. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Of course. Awesome! After he beats the Abyss Order, he'll climb up that ranking table faster than he climbs up all those cliffs. <sighs> Bye, Mon. There is no ranking well, table. Either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do. It is. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. Okay. Oh. Cutscene. Here we go. bumping into you she's very sweet you drop something hey look oh explosion inside city wall grounded by thy woe explosions can hurt people gene can be dreadful monstat be bombed clee be doomed what there's some writing on here explosion inside city wall Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Jean can be dreadful. Mondstadt be bombed. Klee be doomed? Was she in detention, essentially? Like, being grounded, writing poetry about the current situation? She accidentally blew up something, got in trouble, grounded, decided to pass the time by writing. Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Mm-hmm. Survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, you're doomed. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Kaya writes like this? Yep. Okay. To introduce myself. My name is Klee. Hello, Klee. My name is Roshi. And Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. Good job, Paimon. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. That's true. Wow! More recognition! Yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no, there's no time for this right now. Why? I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. What's wrong? The, the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's gone. Oh, I think I took that. I can't remember what was in it. Did you say buried treasure? Girl dressed in red. Hmm. And she has treasure. Paimon. Jose's both for strongest fighter in Mondstadt? What is wrong with people? So, this isn't a big deal, but I would like some clarification. And I'm sure you, those of you who are watching right now, know this a lot better than me. Or at least I hope that someone knows. There are parentheses around Paimon's dialogue here. And I was always under the impression that when you had parentheses in Genshin Impact dialogue, the character was always thinking to themselves. However, she clearly turns to ether, and then this happens. So it sounds like she's actually maybe whispering instead. So are parentheses in the dialogue used for both? Can anyone make sense of it? Do they just change their mind when it's inner thoughts versus whispers? It confuses me a little bit. It's once again, not a big deal. If you have any idea 
what the heck I'm talking about, then feel free to let me know, because just for context purposes, I would like to know. Thank you. Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. No problem. Here, here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it. To yep, make it okay. easier to find. I know exactly where it is. Hyman is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go. Did I steal the treasure? Or did I find that it, it did I find it originally with no treasure there? Ah! That's its fault, Timmy. It didn't fly away fast enough. La, la, that's, la, la, that's adorable. Gone, but you seem oddly happy. Uh, well, Leisure and Albedo seem really busy recently. So Klee must not <coughs> disturb them. But now Klee has new friends. I never thought I'd have a new big brother to help me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Klee, that's too sweet. Stop. That's, that's, that's too cute. My first impressions of Klee from this. She's cute. She's sweet. Her heart is in the right place. She's incredibly dangerous, whether or not she realizes it or not. And man, is she lonely. I mean, yeah, she's just a cute caring child who just wants friends and is excited to have friends but to easily cling on to a new friend or something that it just speaks volumes uh, at how much is missing and i can't help but feel like that goes back to the whole mother thing i understand that clee has the knights of avonius to be there for her and to raise her to guide her to a the the right path a good way of growing up and stuff but i i feel like that's not the same as having friends your age or actual parental figures in your life to spend time with you in an affectionate kind of way and it's it's hard to say this without actually diving deeper into the character and finding out more about these relationships that she has with them. It's not, I'm not trying to say, oh, poor Klee, but I can tell just through the dialogue that there is something missing in her life. Or at least that's how I feel upon speculation. There it is. Yep. Oh, wow, it even has the little symbol thing on it. I should have noticed. Here, this is the place. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground. Oh. Wait, who's that over there? It's an abyss mage. Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about. Is that one of her bombs? What's that in his hand? <gasps> my treasure. Oh. What? Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! After him. What's in a fist made? This I've thing. I've been in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft, and fluffy. I want to pet it. Oh. <laughs> now hand it over. I I actually do think the abyss mages look kind of cute. I do I so I agree with Klee with the whole sentiment of wanting to pet one. But they're evil and must die. You fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? You dug up a hole. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> There Don't we be go. drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. Yes. All right. 
Abyss Mage. You do nothing, sir. We would have to kill him with mercy. That's all. Where'd he go? The Abyss Mage. He just disappeared. What's going on? Ah. Here we go. Nice and spicy. Whoa. Let's keep up the chase. Oh, sorry, Clee. Clee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No, I'm coming with you. Okay. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. I admire your courage. <laughs> don't worry. Clee is a big girl. You're a lot of things. Come Honorary night, let's go. Okay. We're going in. Going in. Glee. The mystery of the girl in red's treasure. Oh, the girl in red's treasure. I read that wrong. Okay. Here we go. Aw, this already seems pretty adorable. Oh! Let's try this. Klee is actually pretty fun. I can see why she would feel kind of clunky. Um, but she is kind of fun. I mean, she's small enough to go under all these things. <laughs> I love that. I can see that Klee would be, like, a big deal when she came out because it does feel very different compared to a lot of the other characters. I mean, being a Catalyst user, I mean, it's it's similar to uh, to Lisa, because Lisa is also kind of slow and provides some setup um, with, like, hitting people with her E, and then... Th oh, no, that's so sad. I hate hearing her whimper and cry and stuff. That's not, that's not cool. That's not cool at all, and now you die. Die. Wow, he actually got tumbled. Whoa, there's two Klee's! Did you see that? There were two Klee's and they looked at each other like, What the fuck? It was awesome. <laughs> this is as far as you will get. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? <laughs> that laugh sounded like, um, what's her face? The advisor from the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> I win. It's a gift from her mom, you asshole. That treasure is now in my hands. Probably. There is nothing you can do. Except kill you. Now your precious treasure shall be your undoing. No, no, wait, don't touch it. Oh, is he just gonna blow himself up? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, how you fret now your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol. <laughs> <laughs> no! I broke the survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Yeah. This is it. This time I'm done for. Oh. But he was bad, so it was good. It was okay. No, Clee, no. No, Clee, no. Uh Treasure is a bomb? 
that was epic. <laughs> Wonder Glee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Pie number one is never picking a fight with her, ever. Don't think she... Well, she... I think she's more likely to kill us by being friends with her than enemies. Hold on. Why has she gone and run off? Uh, something to do with the survival rules. Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knights headquarters and report to Jean. Yeah, but that was that was fun. That was interesting. I love how these dungeons for these character story quests are built for the characters to show how they work. Uh, how you can utilize them. Uh, Cleese is actually rather funny. You have this whole obstacle course of these pillars knocked over and these lasers, and if you were any other character, it'd be a lot harder to navigate. However, if you're Klee, you just kind of walk under everything, and it's hilarious, and I love that they did that, and it really makes me just want to focus on being this character throughout the entirety of the dungeon. I know a lot of people say that it's more optimal to swap your characters and do the elemental reactions, and of course it is, but when it comes to these character dungeons, it's awesome that they're like, no, play the character. You don't need to be swapping up through all these other characters to pass this. We, we want you to experience this character, and this is a situation specifically built for that character. So it's awesome, and I love that. And they do the same thing with Jean later too because of her unique abilities, which I'm sure that I'll talk about. And they have all these ledges ready for you to just launch the enemies off of, and it is amazing. It feels so good, and it's actually a great thing that they did. And that's all I have to say about that. So yeah, like I was saying before, I can see how people would really like playing Klee and that she could potentially be very powerful. Um, I know that they soup up these characters for these little trials and such, but yeah, that was that was neat. It is something. It's it is a character that's fun, but it is a character that I would use if I was just like re really just messing around and just wanted a different play style, because I think normally I like faster paced combat, and she feels a little sluggish. Now that's funny to say because. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to having Ganyu at some point, and she's a bow user, and she's not that fast either, because she's very similar to Amber in that way. At the same time, I've gotten used to and enjoy Amber's playstyle, and it is a different approach to situations, so I don't. It doesn't really bother me. And Klee, I can f kind of feel the same way, except with Klee, you do have to be closer to the enemy. So if you're not moving around enough and you kind of get like complacent and just like stuck where you are, then you're more likely to like get yourself wrecked. Uh, maybe not people who are actually like good at the game, but for me, who's very casual and just kind of goes with the flow with this sort of thing and not really care to pay too much attention half the time when it comes to... Uh, combat shenanigans, you know, it could it could spell out trouble for me. Um, but yeah, that was fun. That was that was cool. Oh, you're here too. Oh, did she go to tell Jean? <laughs> I I turned myself in. It's <laughs> awesome. Huh? It was a bad someone, though. It's okay. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Damn. Clee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Wait, there's been a misunderstanding. Why is that? Uh, the person that Clee blew up was an abyss mage. But, but Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. No, he did. Hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. That's right. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the <laughs> enemy of humanity. Yes. 
Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity. What? What? I don't get it. How can something cute and fluffy be be the enemy to humanity? How can this adorable little elf girl be a terrorist? This was an oversight on my part. I did not tell you these things before because you are still young. Oh. In fact, the Abyss Order is a hostile force in Mondstadt, which has been unusually active lately. Because of Mondstadt's most powerful treasure? Aha! Uh -huh. That's it! Paimon understands now! Do you, Paimon? They were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Paimon. So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludai Harpastum. Aw, oh, she's, she's not exiled from the event. Ludai Harpastum? Whoa! I'm so happy for you. Mr. Honorary Knight, you've got to come too. Sure. Whoop-dee-doo! It's a happy ending! It is. Except... Oh... Except what? Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Oh. Uh, I, um... <laughs> Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Mm-hmm. Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. <laughs> Jean knows too. Klee? <laughs> Self to solitary confinement. Hmm. Oh. Paimon bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. Probably. <laughs> I do love how Klee just like knows the drill. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'll just, I'll just go in there. At least, at least when she thinks she does something wrong, she confesses, <laughs> and she doesn't try to hide it. Ah, Klee is no ordinary child. In fact, she holds the title of Spark Knight within our ranks. That's a cool title. No way! Even Klee gets to be a knight of Favonius? Sounds more impressive than honorary knight. Yes! Paimon thinks this is quite unjust! Well, that I didn't mean it like that, though. Although, the name kind of makes sense considering what Klee's treasure does. True. Yes, she causes her fair share of trouble for the knights of Favonius, but we care a great deal about her. Good. As for her background... Mm-hmm. In short... You'll understand her more as time goes by. Please keep an eye on her in the future. I will. Welcome to the Knights of Avonius. How may I help? Where is this? This is the main hall on the ground floor of the Knights of Avonius headquarters. On this floor, you can find the library and the Grandmaster's office. One of these doors is locked. Ah, uh, that room's not open to outsiders. Well, it does involve some internal secret of the Knights of Avonius, or anything oh it doesn't involve that room is actually solitary confinement <laughs> to be honest this room has more or less become Klee's private property <laughs> every time she's locked in there you can hear some crackling noises like she's researching new explosives in there i'm sure that she won't ignite any of her bombs in there but if she ever slips up it just worries me Here. Need help busting out of this joint? Ooh, ooh, yes, please! Wait, no, <laughs> I, I can't. Klee needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Aw. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The oh, Ludi Harpastum version. Oh, uh, like a firework? Um, when you say treasure... <laughs> I made it into the shape of a harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. You disguised a bomb as harpastum? Just wait for Ludi Harpastum. Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. Okay. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this, Klee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Quest completed. All right, so that was my interaction with Klee. That was that was cool. 
Hello everyone, me again, enjoying the video? I know you are. That's why you're still here. And that's why you're gonna hit the subscribe button if you didn't do that already. That's why you're gonna consider looking at the description to see if you want to support me by being a member on the YouTube channel or maybe joining the Patreon. You get exclusive uncut content. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. But there's also another thing I want to talk about today. I also want to mention that I have a VOD channel. That's right. Every once in a while, a few times a week, I'm going to be trying to stream on Twitch. And not only gotcha game stuff, but I'm going to be streaming other games too. And I have a VOD channel where you're going to be able to see all of those streams. It's just going to be a variety of all sorts of a mess of scuffed content that you can enjoy in case if you miss the actual live stream itself. I'm going to be doing lore stuff with Genshin Impact. I'm going to be playing Wuthering Waves. I might even play Zenla Zone Zero. I might even play other games that aren't gotcha. Imagine that would be crazy. And you know what? You can go and support that channel right now just by watching those videos and liking them and subscribing to that too. Why not? It's right there in the description and it'll also be maybe in the comment section if I remember to put a link there. Anyway, all your support's appreciated. Thank you. Question for the real ones. Out of all the kinds of units within Genshin Impact, sword, claymore, polearm, catalyst, bow, what is your favorite to use? Let me know. All right, so the next one we have is Jean's story quest. Oh, finally, I caught you. Is something wrong, Sarah? I have something I'd like the Knights of Favonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the acting Grand Master. Okay. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. Um, I am her loyal slave. We're like peas in a pod. Really? It must be a good feeling knowing Jean's got your back. It is. Anyway, what was it you wanted us to tell Jean? Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. Mm. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. Wow. So you want the knights to clear the road? That would be great. Please, ask Master Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Sure. Oh, help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Thank you. Okay. It seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Sure. Margaret, you have to wait. You always come over here pushing. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles, the bartender, said he's been having some trouble, too. Oh. Why don't you stop by and see him on the way? Okay. Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. Master's Day Off. Oh, is, uh... Are we going to be, like, walking around, collecting all sorts of jobs from these people? And Jean, because she's a workaholic, is just like, All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Don't, don't you worry. And then we're just going to be like, You know what? Jean works hard. Let's give her a day off and we do all the work. That's my guess. That's my guess, that we're just going to do, do you Jean a favor. Is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? All right, buddy. Listen. I'm trying to help. Yeah. Help. Oh, yes. You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great. Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. Do you really need to get Jean involved with stuff like this? Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Mm, true. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is overlooked. Hi, 
Someone never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. She does a lot. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. I feel like she probably did all this stuff when Varka was still here. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Mm. Wow. How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? Damn, Paimon. <sighs> I mean, she's right, though. When you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next time she's here. Yeah. Although, I doubt the acting Grandmaster even has the time to spare for that. That's true. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Well, Paimon, if she doesn't come here, then she doesn't come here, but if she does, then he can, you, you know. Come on, let's go and see Jean. Okay, let's go tell Jean that, you know, we're going to take care of all the stuff. Don't you worry about it, Jean. I have respect for Jean. She's taken on a lot because some other guy is an idiot. And by idiot, I mean he's Varka. I understand that everyone says he's really strong. That's great. That doesn't mean he isn't stupid. You can be strong and stupid. Hey, you two. Margaret. You, you get in my way at Sarah's cooking shop. And now, and now you tracked me down here too. What, what do you want? What, what do you want, Margaret? What is it? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? You mean Diona? Diona! That was her name! Diona, okay. No, not her. I imagine Diona's probably still in the tavern. Probably. I mean, little Princey. Prince was just home, now he's gone. Oh. The Prince? Oh. Did you seriously think Diona was a house cat? She's a cat! I don't know. <sighs> this is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? I guess we can have a look for your cat. Nah, you're always really such a big softie. I like Wait, cats. Aren't we in the middle of something? We are. Sarah and Charles need our help urgently too. Let's go and see Jean first. You're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. You were going to tell her about the missing cat? I even thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? What's wrong with that? Jean's a really nice person. <laughs> Such a solid line of reasoning. <laughs> I feel like this is a classic case of good people finish last. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. Alright. Bro. Hey! hey! Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff to do. <coughs> oh no, she's sick from overworking. Uh, acting Grandmaster? <sighs> oh, uh, Master Jean? <gasps> hey, Jean. Jean, Jean, Jean. That's... Behold, the Dandelion Knight herself. I kind of want to test her sense of humor. Oh, it's our honorary knight. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. Mm-hmm. How can I assist? Even the voice actress is making her sound, like, extremely tired. Actually, it's not it's us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well... Thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> yeah, me too, Jean. I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <coughs> make arrangements. <coughs> me too. Accordingly. Great! We didn't oh. miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? She's passing out. Sarah's hilly churls, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. Seems that's everything. Oh, we'll be man. on our way then, Jean. <sighs> well, Jean, are you okay? Jean was a nice character. It's a shame that she had to pass away like this. Uh, I'll miss her. Um, hardworking, 
Very cute. So, until next time, shine on, you crazy dime. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Something's wrong with Jean, and you bring her to the cathedral in search of assistance. Yeah, she's overworked, tired, and got sick. Barbara! How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. Mm-hmm. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. She really has it tough, doesn't she? Poor Jean. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? I am. While the master is down, the knights should share her burden, no? They should. That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do that? They're incompetent. Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just me here. Okay. Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Well, leave Jean alone, you know? Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. All right, let's go help Jean out. I have huge respect for Jean. She's an awesome character. She's a workaholic and obviously works too much as we can see here. She's practically passing out and that's crazy. Imagine being tired and burnt out from something you do every day. <coughs> anyway, I don't know what it is. It's just a character that I have a lot of respect for and I've always wanted to see more of. So going into the story quest, I did feel pretty excited to actually get to see more of Jean. And although, in my opinion, this story quest is kind of meh as far as what you do in it, the outcome, as you'll see, I'll have things to say about that later. Oh, it's Kaya! Hey, Kaya! I've been waiting for you. Oh. Have you now? I have been informed about Jean falling ill. Mm -hmm. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius, allow me to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. You're welcome. So courteous and polite. This isn't the Kaya Paimon knows. This is the OG Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, in addition to that thank you message, there was one other thing. Um, do you have a job for us? It's like you read my mind. We have quite a connection, don't you think? Okay, now we're back to the flirting. Yep. Things like helping to fill in for Jean. Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone else, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. Valid, valid so concern. I'm hoping that you can help out where you see fit. Yes. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the honorary knight is personally overseeing these cases. Mm -hmm. You can flatter us all you want, but answer me this. Why don't you do it? I mean, good question. I don't mind doing it, but good question. <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. Fair. There are so many things to... to prepare. Okay. <sighs> Fine, then. So it's Sarah, Charles, and Margaret's stuff you want us to help with, right? Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See you. Oh, see you later. This got cut off. Man, poor Mondstadt. Oh, there she is. Oh, Venti's here. What up? So... Yours is the cat that went missing. Venti, have you come to help? Me here to help you? 
Why, on the contrary, it is I who needs the helping. Oh, okay. But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Oh. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. The cat took your... your strings. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right. Spoken just like a parent who chooses to spoil said rascal. Indeed. Just like Barbados. What? <laughs> yes, quite, quite. <clears throat> now, let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. That would be unfortunate. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? True. Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. Yeah, but that's different. What? These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animal energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to carry. Okay. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings contain animal energy? That'll help us. It's time for you to use your elemental sight again. All right. I'm unsure there must be some elemental footprints or something. Thank you all. Prince should be somewhere around the marketplace or the residential area. It's a black cat you're looking for. Oh, I'm aware. Uh, oh, take this fish. It's little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. Okay. She just handed me a fish. Five fish. Okay, find Prince. There we go. We're on the case. That black cat looks really familiar. Haven't we seen it in the cat's tail before? Isn't that Prince? <gasps> yep, Get over here. Prince, all right. Get over here. Where'd you go? I lost him already. Oh. Wow. Prince has very keen senses. It didn't take much to scare him off. See Freaking if you can cat. approach him crouching from behind. That way your footsteps will be quieter. It must be difficult not being able to float. Then why don't you catch him, Paimon? If you're anxious to find Prince, why not coax him to you with some fish? Kitty cats do love eating fish. All right. If you run out of fish, go grab some from the lake. Now back to it. Okay. Hey, hey, Prince. Um. No, it's not what I wanted to do. Run. What? I'm gonna get you. What do you mean? Imagine you doing this quest and you actually run out of fish and then you go off somewhere to get more, only for it to not work anyway. He just ran back. He just ran back. We just had to follow him a bunch. Prince! Oh, good boy! That's my prince. I knew you'd come home to me. <sighs> After all that searching... You're telling me. Oh, Princey. How could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. <sighs> Look at you. <laughs> Did Prince take you on a bit of a wild goose chase then? Yep. Luckily for me, I didn't waste too much time. <laughs> Cheer up. Even if you didn't catch him, he's back here thanks to you. Oh, and he still has the astral iron strings with him. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, 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 what? Are you allergic to cats? <laughs> Apologies. At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. I didn't think gods could have allergies. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. 
I'll be going now. <laughs> Damn. Good luck with that, buddy. I get it. I went from not being allergic to cats to suddenly being allergic to cats. Long-haired, specifically. Alright, time to talk to Charles. Oh, and Lisa. Okay. I like all these characters. It's good. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Yeah. Cool. Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. No, we're we're, we're going to be needed. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering. Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. Whoa. Uh -oh. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? Sure. What's so urgent about this order? Ah, <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hello, Ernest. What's up? So this is where Charles' delivery disappeared to. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. Sure. And all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by Hilly Churls. <sighs> if you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Not die, hopefully. Fear not! My friend here is a Hilly Churl exterminator extraordinaire! I don't know if I like that title. Just as well. Then please escort this transporter to the end of the road. Okay. And be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the Hilly Churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. Sure. I'll be waiting up ahead. Okay. So I have to... Okay. I have to make sure this thing gets to its destination safe. Ow! Nope! Get away from that! Hello, everyone! Ow! Ow! Stop it! There we go. Oh, here you are. Hi, Ernest. Thank you, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. Yes. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. All right. Oh, and Amber's here. Wow, everyone's showing up for Jean's Got story it. quest. I'll set off right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly churls on the delivery route? Yeah. Oh. Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. Yeah. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Well, just do your best, and we'll do our best, and it's going to be fine. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> um, is there anything we can help with? Really? You don't mind helping? No, I don't mind. Oh, that would be wonderful. You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Sure. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure he can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. Paimon, I'm a great cook. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the Good Hunter's business. Yeah. A fight? For this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Oh, okay, easy. Go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, yes, okay. Right. Okay. Let's do the thing. Have you brought me three sweet flowers and three Of course flowers? I did. Here. I have all the things. Yep, that's everything. Now, order number seven is for one sweet madame. A sweet and madame. So begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. You did say you'd help Good Hunter out. 
Be sure to serve it while it's hot. This isn't what I was expecting to do. I thought I was going to go clear some pillagers away, but I'm fine with this too. One What's sweet next? Dumb received. Mm. This smells absolutely divine. This is nothing less than what I would expect from a head chef. Never mind a sous chef. I'm kind of awesome. Hmm. Since you cook so well, uh, you might as well take this sticky honey roast next. All right. Sticky honey roast? I'm sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. We've had it before That's with right. Amber. A mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and joy. The knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. I think I already Wait, know it. Didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? Just like that? With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. <laughs> as soon as that sticky honey roast is ready, please bring it here. Okay. I need sugar. Two minutes! Ugh. Now, I know that this is still early Genshin, and I really do hope it kind of fixes itself soon, but a lot of these quests are fetch quests and of course these fetch quests make sense for later but even in the archon quest you know now with these story quests there's just a lot of them i am i would imagine that a fetch quest could be just a random world quest like whatever helping an npc that's fine but we're talking about like the main characters of this game right now and i'm literally just running around doing busy work and maybe at this for this story quest it makes sense it makes sense because a lot of what gene does is just nonsensical busy work to keep everyone happy and functioning in within monstat and so it's it, that's not the complaint the issue is just that i i hope or i wish that it would stop <laughs> that the fetch quests would stop sooner than later uh because there's so much more you could do with this um that being said i am happy in the direction that it goes especially with gene's dungeon and the events that happen after that it's a good time there we are that would have been really unfortunate if i messed it up somehow and then had to wait for two more sugar that would have been unfortunate I'm still waiting on one sticky honey roast have you got it yeah right here Wait, I already had sticky honey roast. I'm stupid. This is... Wow! Did you really cook this? This is quite simply astonishing! You were born to be a head chef. Thank you very much. Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes, thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care of everything else. If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter if you want it. Good to know. <sighs> I think we're finally finished with the commissions we were doing for Jean. A day in the life of Jean really is hard work. Wonder how she's feeling now. Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit. Yo. Hi, Barbara. We're back. Welcome back. You must be exhausted. How is Jean doing? Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That's good. That's great news! Let's go and see her! But she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. <sighs> she tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. Mm -hmm. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place again. Oh. Where? The tree? Oh. That huge tree at Windrise? <gasps> that place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Mm-hmm. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Aw. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thoughts? Because Barbara's her younger sister. We know this. Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. Um... Will she be okay on her own in this condition? That's what I'm worried about, too. But I still have work to do here. 
Don't worry. We'll take over nursing duty for now. All right. Great. That puts my mind at rest. May the animal Archon protect you. And Jean. Well, he's currently dealing with some allergies. Um, but I'm sure he will when he stops sneezing. Okay. So let's go to the tree. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I like your sword. I do not know if I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger. Huh? Hi, Jean. Are you feeling better now? Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Of course. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? You can always rely on us. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. Does it really, or are you just saying that? But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? The protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. A kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Havonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. That's cool. I actually didn't know that Vanessa was also referred to as the Dandelion Knight, but that makes sense. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm... Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Fang Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight and yet as fierce as the Lion Fang Knight. Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa. But I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. I could get used to Jean the Lion Fang Knight. Actually, Dandelion Knight suits you better. Paimon thinks so too. Yeah. Huh? Jean? Who's there? Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, I stand corrected. Turns out we are going to get a little action with Jean. I'm all for it. Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. Mm. How did they know about Jean's condition? Just Choosing talking. this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. Hmm. Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be sli- Oh. Stop! <coughs> After him. <coughs> no, Jean. Jean, you're still recovering. Could be luring Jean to a trap. No, I must go after him. <sighs> Jean, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Uh, I do trust you, but to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. Good. Good. Okay, she's running. Look at her go. Jean, where are you going? Oh, serpentine. She's going straight for the kill. 
Look at her go. Look at that warrior. Oh, are we going to a little dungeon? Some dungeon action? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Okay. I'm glad that we are getting this. Ow! My my everything hurts. Oops. Are you hurt? Oh, darn him in his traps. I fell right for it. How badly are you hurt? Oh, one of my own being injured because of me is the last thing I would wish for. No, Gene, don't, don't worry about it. Handle this alone. No, Gene. No, you are in no state to handle this alone. We are coming too. <sighs> okay. But before we move out, at least let me heal everyone with my dandelion breeze. Hell yeah. Thanks. You're amazing. Yeah! It's Jean time! Okay, we're gonna check out Jean's stuff. Okay, so she's got her up to five consecutive strikes, which is nice, and her charge... Oh, her charge is that? I'm gonna like this. Hello. That's cool. All right. See, that's a different charge attack for once. What do we got? That's awesome. So good. I know they build the dungeon around, like, her skills working the way that they're supposed to, but it's still a lot of fun just tossing people around. Boom! Ah, oh, so good! And you can launch enemies into each other, too. It seems that way, anyway. Ow. Annihilated. Whew. Thanks to Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes. I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she is not upset with me. I'm sure she'll forgive. This is what I'm talking about. Jean's playstyle is good. It's unique, it's fun, it's different. There's more utility to it. For example, her charge attack. She stabs the enemy and they get levitated into the air and they're held there. That provides a setup for future things and gives you time to like switch your party around or whatever that is or just prepare for the next move. It's fun, it's cool, it's different. It's not just a cross slash. Let's take our newest character, for example, Chlorend, at the time of this recording. She does a charge attack with a sword and gun combo hit. It's still just a hit and it doesn't really do anything else as far as I know, maybe I'm mistaken. You have Zhongli, he does a charge attack, he does this crazy thing, but it's still just a hit, there's no other utility to it. This adds something more, something more to the game, and it's not just a copy and paste of something else with a little flair of a new animation attached to it, as much as I love animation, and you know that about me. But it's like, it's this is different. This is cool. Did they stop doing stuff like this or am I just not aware of it? Please inform me. And that's it. Jean's goaded. Master, you finally returned. The Animal Archon protects you. 
Swan, were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... We'll go. Jean needs to rest. Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting grandmaster. Oh my god. You guys are freaking... Uh -huh. Well, if you say so, Swan, I will go. I should <gasps> not let the other knights down. Is it, Are they throwing a party for Jean? That'd be cool if they were actually throwing like a surprise party for Jean as like a big thank you. It's fine. Now that I've had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. It, I mean, it's still weird to have a party when she's still recovering, but I guess that it's also one of those things where they might not get another chance because she's always working. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. Now he's dumping things onto Jean. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? I hope it's like a thank you gathering of sorts and not like just another job for her to do. Oh, she's gone. We'll see if my prediction's right. Do they actually need her help or is it a big old group thank you? Ah! I, ah, I was right! Maybe. Yes. Yes. Oh, what? this is wholesome. What's all this? It's a thank you party for you. And now it makes sense where it's like all the things that the... Like... You had the shenanigans for the tavern. You had the food that had to be made for it all. You had, I guess maybe Venti's going to be performing and that had to do with the cat. Or Margaret's just crazy. I don't know. One of those things. Okay. But they were all, <laughs> but if it. If it was all from for Jean from the start, it's like crazy how they were like trying to get her to help them with her own thing. If that is the case. <laughs> uh, then they did say the thing was all the like the the big food order was like very sudden and stuff. So maybe. OK, anyway, let's enjoy the moment. The thank you party. Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it happened after she got sick is when they decided. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. And it's also why Kaya didn't get involved with stuff, because he was probably organizing this. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. Enjoy yourself, Jean. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> True. Uh, Jean? I... Uh, Doesn't know how to handle it. Huh? Is this Jean when she's shy? I've never seen her like this. Aww. It's easy to forget that outside of work... Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... This is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. Ah... <sighs> Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. Damn. Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? Yeah. It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? 
I spent so much time doing library admin, a few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. It's true, kind of. Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animal Archon's guidance. Praise be if empty was in the room. <laughs> Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. The organizer? See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. I mean, I made it. I, didn't, or I don't know if I organized it. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. I made chicken and honey roast. I don't know what this is. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. All those last minute urgent orders. It was you all along. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Yeah. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius <laughs> event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Yeah, Diluc. <laughs> oh, Master Diluc, I... All right, all right. Jean's supposed to be taking it easy. Stop crowding her. Agreed. Now, let the party begin. Yeah. A spirited and Everybody cheerful said, party was had? Partying hard. Paimon thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Yeah. Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Of course. Aw, oh, Jean just went to a quiet place in the bar. <laughs> Very relatable. All right, let's talk to Kaya first. Hey, having a good time? Why did you say I was the organizer? The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. Mm. So instead, we just gave you all the credit. After all, you did do more than your fair share of the work anyway. So you gave me the credit to hide your own shyness? Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold. <laughs> you think so? So you admit it! I'm only indulging you since it's such a special day today. All right. All right, Kaya. All right, all right, all right, guy. You crazy guy. Diluc. Number 37. What's Diluc doing? <laughs> Is he, like, counting how much money he's losing? I'm keeping count of this bard's alarming pace of progress through my wine. Venti has had 37 glasses. Oh, that's... Oh. Only the knights drink for free tonight. It seems he didn't get the message. <laughs> when he sobers up, I will present him with the bill. Diluc, you're a meanie. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I highly doubt he could afford it anyway. So I shall spare him the bill. But I must say, the sheer volume of alcohol this fellow can put back is just not normal. It's because he's not a normal guy. That's that's hilarious, though. Oh, uh, this is great. All right, Venti, we're going to talk to... Amber, I'm not skipping you on purpose. I just I just found out how wasted Venti is, and I got to hear it. Oh, my word. The John Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they say. I would never be able to afford this normally. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, another glass for the bard, please. 
Venti can drink a frightening amount. Mm-hmm. Ah, hello! <laughs> I didn't see you there. I blame the wine for monopolizing my attention. <laughs> Much like my balance, it deserves to be enjoyed for generations to come. What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal power? Nope. You're sh-wasted. That would be the drink talking. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the city of the wind must be compelled to taste this finest of wines. <laughs> Here's the good wine! Okay, Venti. <laughs> all right, pal. All right, Amber, what do you think about all this? Oh, wow. What? Amber, you look like you're about to burst into tears. Whatever is the matter? Well, yeah, what happened? Two things. One, this sweet madame. Oh. Two, this sticky honey roast. She's enjoying the food. Makes sense. Did you make them? Uh, you better believe it. Mm, I refuse to believe it. Oh. Where did you suddenly learn to cook so well? I've had to do it out in the wild. I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Okay, fair. Um, 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 um. Oh, God. All yes. right. Amber? Drinking? <laughs> it's adorable. All right. We have Barbara, Lisa, and then Jean's upstairs. All right, Barbara. <sighs> this is quite a lot of excitement considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. Would a drink help you relax? Uh, is there anything without alcohol? What do you normally drink? You know, I normally mix a few things together, but I always add some bright red. Red? Let me guess. Tomatoes. No, watermelon. <laughs> Chilies. I add chili peppers. You add chili peppers into your drink? Chili pepper? In a drink? Okay. Barbara likes spice. Cool. Got it. Understood. Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there, together, in the quiet of the night, while the rest of the world melted away around them. Lisa, don't... don't... don't do this. I... I had to talk to... Yinger today, whatever her name is. Yang... I can't... Okay. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, no? I'm not trying to get you to recite poetry to me or anything. Mm hmm I'm just saying. Jean went upstairs to the balcony. Alone. Now's your chance. <laughs> oh, God, that's what you meant. Okay. Uh -huh. <coughs> well, if you don't, I mean, I'm going to go say hi to Jean. Oh, it is you. Yeah. Oh, it's daytime now. Wow, we've been partying all night. Are you having a good time? Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh-oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. Whoop. I have a feeling. Does that have anything to do with the fact that you're feeling undeserved, undeserving of this? I want to thank you again. Actually, I knew nothing about this whole thing either. You're looking more upbeat now. It is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits. That's good. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion thing knight. Hmm. The Lion Thing Knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. Mm -hmm. But it was the Dandelion Knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. Jean, Vanessa would be so proud of who you are right now. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. I will.
And that's it. Wow, oh, that was nice. That was nice. That was a good time. Despite my complaining before about how this mission's a bunch of fetch quests, how a lot of these Genshin missions lately have just been fetch quests, this is what I like about it. I like it when the characters come together. I like it when there's world building. I like it when we learn more about these characters in general. So having this moment where all these fetch quests actually led up to a party for Jean and everyone's there. It's so wholesome and it feels good and it was great to walk around and talk to everyone and just get a, just a little more information about how everyone is like Kaya is actually a shy boy. Diluc's not always super grumpy and mean. Like he's got a soft side too. Venti's drunk and that's hilarious. Barbara likes spicy food. Lisa, we know she's a romantic, but she's very, she's like, yeah, hey, go check her out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's funny. It's just a good time. I think Amber was drunk. You know, it was just a good experience. And Jean is super thankful. Although we also see this introverted side of her where she's just kind of like, I'm not used to this, uh, but I'm very appreciative. To and she had to like step out on the balcony and, and like, it's just an awesome ending to a story quest and this was by far at this point in time my favorite story quest that i've ever done and of course i might just keep saying that as i continue to do them hopefully that they just continue to improve and improve and but that's just it that's just how i felt and then we'll get the ventis but that's next time and that's it. Once again, thank you very much for joining me, Internet. I appreciate it, as always. They were so wholesome. Klee is freaking adorable. She is so cute. Jean, my heart melts for Jean. I appreciate Jean so much as a character. She's super cool, and I'm glad that it turned out the way that it did. It was just... These were just some of the most wholesome moments within the Genshin game thus far, as of yet. Let me know what you think. What do you like about these missions? Is there anything that you don't like about them? Do you agree with me with any of the things that I said? Or am I just a clown per usual? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to support me by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, leaving a comment down below, all that good stuff. You can check out the description for additional ways of how to support me by becoming a member on the channel or signing up for the Patreon. Every little bit counts. And also remember, there is a VOD channel now, which I will be uploading my VODs from Twitch onto that. So you can see me lose my mind and be a goof when I play all sorts of stuff. I hope to see you around in some of those streams or on the VOD channel. And uh, yeah, anyway, that's all the time I have for now. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, shine on you crazy diamonds. Later.